Play for takeoff, goal kill again. and then we'll be coming back to Oxford. Aim is to get back before night time though, although I'm not night rave, but yeah, that will, that will be a challenge. But I'm sure we can do it. Now with an announced flight, I do have to focus quite a lot, so I am a little bit sorry. I'm not talking as much as I normally do in my videos. All right, so about, just about above our first checkpoint, so we're now gonna turn to start heading towards Milton Keynes. Currently at 2,500 feet, so we'll turn now. And yeah, then we'll head over towards Milton Keynes, which will be exciting. Leg will is aimed to be about 10 minutes, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, the first thing we do when we turn off our leg is a gross error check, which is basically just to check to make sure we know where we are. Um, so we can't just pass Milton Keynes, so I've been talking, we've really been focusing on this flight. So talking to London Information, switch from Oxford Radar and then we'll switch back to Oxford Radar when we get closer. But for now, speaking to London Information. So yeah, just like my last leg, after I've turned onto my track, I make sure I do my gross error tech check, sorry, just to make sure I'm going the general right direction. Next thing we do is we can work out an ETA of where I'm roughly going to get there. So, for this leg, we got an 11 minute leg and we left at 37 minutes past. Now, if my math is correct, that does mean we're going to get there at 48, so I guess we'll see how accurate I am. It, hopefully, I got it right and we're going to get there at, bang on, 48 minutes past, but I guess we're just going to find out when we get there. For my checkpoint, I have a current airfield which will be flying well above, so that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so we'll just keep flying now until we see it. Currently flying overhead our aerodrome, which is our checkpoint right now, which is good. And now we are going to continue straight for another five minutes until we get to Banbury. But yeah, I will fly that now and I'll see you shortly. We had some pretty good weather in England recently these last couple of days. It's been really good for us, uh, especially for flying. Uh, yeah, we've had some beautiful weather. Um, it's a bit hazy though due to the high pressure which can be a bit of a problem VFR trying to look at the far distances is it does create a bit of a haze in the distance which makes it harder to see the checkpoints we're looking for but apart from that yeah we, we're just making our way alright so we're three minutes away from Banbury and I'm pretty sure I can see it in front of me just a bit hazy which makes it harder to see but I'm 90% sure I can see it so next thing we've got to do is we're going to get a bit closer actually first before I do anything just so I can definitely make sure that's Banbury. Uh, not that it is another um, uh, town very like it. But I am 90% sure it's Banbury so we're going to head over get a bit closer and then we can make the plan for our next leg. Anyway we are approaching Banbury it is definitely Banbury. Uh, what we can do now is we can get ready for our next head, uh, our next leg. We're going to fly at 2,500 feet, which is what we are currently at. We're going to set our heading bug to 271. And that's basically the heading we're going to fly. So I've said that. Next, we got a time. This leg is meant to be 11 minutes. 
Now we predicted we were going to be overhead number at 48. I think we're going to be about 30 seconds off. It's going to be about 39. But I don't think that's too bad for a day's work. By the way, I am sorry about the haircut. I know it is getting a bit crazy in the lockdown time, but hopefully as soon as this barber's open, I can get the next one going. Anyway, overhead boundary now. We're flying our current the heading we want. We're going to click start on the timer. And it should be about 11 minutes. All right, so my close error check is completed. Pretty sure we're flying the right way, which is always a good start. Next thing we've got to do is that ETA again. Hopefully we can get it back on the minute this time, last on the minute late, but we left at 49, which using my genius maths again, at the 11 minutes, I believe we're going to get there on the hour. Now we're currently three minutes out from our thing, which basically uh, our checkpoint, which basically means that I need to start looking. The problem is I have a huge glare right now in my eyes, which is making it 10 times harder to see what I want to see. Not great for me, but no problem whatsoever. We will, well, I'm sure we'll see it. So basically just spoke to Oxford. Uh, we sent you back from London information to Oxford. And they basically, so Oxford basically said to me, continue my route and let them know when I am five miles away from the aerodrome and we can then join back and land back at Oxford. So now I get to just focus on my nav, make sure I go to Evesham and then back to Oxford. All right, so that was Evesham and we are bang on there just on the hour, which is brilliant. Now time to head back to Oxford. So on our way back now, uh, yeah, the frequency is really busy if I'm not talking a lot. Uh, so sorry about that, I'm trying to do my best. Uh, heading back to Oxford now, should be around 15 to 20 minutes until we're back, and at which point we will land, and yeah, call it a day. I've, I've had a brilliant time, I love navs. I've just started doing it, this is my first solo now actually, uh, but I'm, I'm really loving it, I'm really loving them all. So, yeah, I'm glad I could take you guys along with me for this flight. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe if you are enjoying my content and leave a like on the video if you have made it this far and enjoyed the video. Uh, but the best part isn't done yet, we have to land. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get that done now. Uh, in about 15 to 20 minutes we'll get that done and then yeah. Uh, cool, see you all back at Oxford. video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.